The civil rights movement was and still is an important period in history. This movement was a long and tough fight to be granted the same human rights as white people. The fight for equality took many different forms, but for the Spiral Group, that form was visual art. The Spiral Group was an organization of African-American visual artists residing in New York City. The objective of the group was to define the role of art and artists' connection to the movement. Some of the most notable members of this group are Ramar Bearden, Norman Lewis, and Hale Woodruff. They aimed to almost create a black aesthetic. It was a way of empowerment through art. Each member had different views of their own contribution to the movement. For example, Ramar Bearden's work was described as a radical, modern European aesthetic philosophy twist on traditional African art. Although there were varying styles in the Spiral Group's work, the work appeared cohesive due to its common theme, civil rights. More generally, the Spiral Group formation was a response to discrimination they faced as black artists. In their time with the Spiral Group, they had one exhibition in 1965, two years after their formation. The exhibition represented a variety in the artist's styles and opinions. The Spiral Group helped to amplify the diversity of black artists through showing different styles and opinions. The differing opinions and styles links back to the reason the group was formed. Philip Randolph, a prominent civil rights labor leader, wanted the artists to devise a new visual order in the movement. Randolph saw power in numbers and perspectives and aimed to have a variety in artworks. So what does spiral mean? According to Alexandra Regal, spiral means from a starting point moves outward, embracing all directions, yet constantly upward. This is especially seen when looking at the relationship between black artists and white-owned art institutions. The Spiral Group helped to defeat the exclusivity of art institutions in New York City, specifically white-owned art institutions, who excluded black artists from their exhibitions. When focusing on the work itself, it did not necessarily focus on racial subject matter. It was more about having a platform in a racist society, and the work was more expressive than straightforward. It was designed to fight against a society that refused to call black artists artists. Rather than being straightforward, the object of the art was to make the viewer question their views on race and to question how they fit into the current racist society. Following the Spiral Group's exhibition, Ramar Bearden supports this idea by calling upon the world to question the racist views towards black artists and how black artists are treated poorly by the art community.